Hey guys, LEGO Master 365 here, and today we're going to be doing a bit of a different review because the engines are already out of the box for once, uh, even though I literally just got the second one today, but I already took them out of the box. Um, so it's not an unboxing, it's just a review. Uh, today we're looking at the Bachman Bill, and of course, the Bachman Ben. Now, I have to say, out of the box, these two are very lovely engines. I bought Bill at Strasbourg, and I was going to get Ben too, but unfortunately they were sold out of Ben. So I could only get Bill, and then I also got Mail Car and uh, Milk Tanker. So out of the box, I'm only just going to do Bill for the shape, and then I'm just going to show you the two faces. So out of the box, these two engines look amazing. They look just like the characters that they were based off of. Not to mention the engines they are based off of in real life. I'll throw a picture up uh, right now. See what I mean? They look like practically identical. So, here they are saddle tank engines, and you can clearly see that by their boiler design. And their names are both clearly printed on the side. Now, unfortunately, like all their tank engines, their cabs are not open, because if they were, that would reveal the motor inside, and as you can see, the wheel goes straight practically underneath the cab. So the motor is mostly hidden in here, but the wires definitely go off and branch into the cab, or at least the whistle bit, which for, on Ben, it for some reason is very loose and kind of shakes like that, but we're not going to worry about that. The funnel is very short, but I, it looks just like the character, of course. Uh, there, there is the SCC printing, which is very hard to see in light like this, and then having the light kind of shine off of a bill like that just kind of highlights it. It's much more visible in person than it is on camera because right now, uh, Bill looks extremely yellow for some reason. Um, so everything is nicely printed. All the colors are very vibrant and just very sh and shows up very nicely. Uh, the buffer beams are very nice. They look really pretty much like the real thing, except for like you know having this massive coupler inside it. But you know, um, you kind of have to if you want the trains to you know connect. Um, their pistons are offset, like in the show, they kind of lean upwards, and the side rods are also really nice. Uh, they kind of bend out like that, which is really nice, and I think it's supposed to, like, prevent them from, like, buckling or something like that, because right now both Gordon and Henry, uh, have kind of, like, buckled coupling rods, but they still run, it's just they're buckled. Um, now if we move on to the face, um, unlike Hornby, Bachman went out of their way, and, let me get it in focus... Bachman went out of their way and made two separate faces for each engine. Just gonna dim it a little bit. Maybe you can see the lettering better? Uh, you can, no, you really can't. So, um, when you see them side by side, you can clearly tell that uh, Bill has the more bland expression, just kind of like the stock standard kind of face kind of look. And then Ben has kind of more of a squinty-eyed thing, and for some reason, uh, my, um, uh, Ben's eyes look like they're kind of looking up. I don't know if that's all of them, or if that's just a flaw on mine for like how the eyes are placed, but I don't know, I actually kind of like it. It's kind of different from just having the faces like look straight forward. I'm just kind of looking off into the corner, uh, in the upper corner, which is really nice. Oh, and they also have a Brendan Bay clearly marked up on their uh, front. So, these are the two engines, side by side, face to face, back to back, uh, upside down, and then top view. Uh, they both look incredibly nice. They look just like the real show. And yeah, I cannot wait to get these two boys running. Let's go. Okay, so now both engines have been run in and now it's time to get them rolling. So here we go, we've got Bill on the track and let's see how he does with the slow speed and see you roll. Oh, come on. You wanna move. Come on, you wanna move. There we go. That's alright, it's not the best, not the worst. Definitely not the best. It's kinda hard to get him started with that. Alright, now, Ben here had some serious, uh, had a serious toothache. I mean, teething troubles. Um, he was slow, he was much slower than Bill. In fact, Bill caught up with him so many times that I had to keep sending Bill all the way back around so that way when they were going forward, Bill was here and Ben was there. And by like five laps later, Bill would already be back here. 
So he's much slower. He kept cutting out a lot. So I do not have a lot of faith that he's going to have a great fall. Wow, he actually started up a lot faster than Bill. Let me cut out, I think. Yeah, he cut out. All right, come on. Come on, buddy. You want to yeah, his call is actually about the same, which kind of surprises me. So, I just put Ben onto the train, and let's just, you know, slide Bill in. And, um, I forgot one thing. I'm just gonna move Ben of the uh, trains over here, and here we go. Now, we've got the train, which is just a line of uh, empty cars with uh, a brake fan at the back. So now that Bill is at the front and Ben is behind, Bill, uh, Bill won't be able to get away. Or, um, yeah. So, let's get them moving. You start off slow. You can hear Ben. That's Ben making that squeaking noise. He's crying. So we got Bill at the front. Uh, his eyes only go halfway, which sucks. Alright, let's look at Ben. All right, his eyes go all the way. That's great. So, um, Bill's definitely the problem. <laughs> uh, so Bill has a problem with the eyes and the body put together, and then Ben just has, like, motor problems. And now we see the whole train. Nice slow crawl for a start. Move up to half speed. Alright, let's see where they are. Make them turn. And here we go. Finally get a chance to sprint, boys. Let's go. Let's cause some trouble. We don't got time for any teasing troubles. Let's go. Cause some seasonal spread diseases and come into a stop. Alright, uh, let's bring y'all back and bring you into the terminal. And there we go, guys. That is my review on the Bachman, Bill, and Ben. I'm sorry um, that um, you didn't get to see them being unboxed, but I really didn't have a choice because I got Bill so much sooner than I got Ben, so I didn't know when I was going to get Ben, so I just opened him up and didn't get the chance. And yeah, guys, that is it. That is basically my collection. Um practically complete, apart from a uh, daisy, but when she comes out, then it's done. But, um, yeah, that's basically my entire collection. Um, and they're all sitting right here. Right in my bedroom, where they all belong. Normally they just kind of sit out in the living room waiting to be used for filming, but they just kind of sit there collecting dust, and plus everything had to be moved, so I cleared out the top shelf of my bookshelf and put my engines in. It's kind of cramped in here because Percy's, uh, of Percy's ladders, but they all fit. So we got Thomas, Edward, Henry, Gordon, James, Percy, Toby, Duck, Donald, Douglas, Oliver, Mavis, Diesel, Bill, and Ben. And then we also have Salty and Emily, the season sevens. And I know every engine in here hasn't been reviewed. There are three sitting here who you've never seen uh, reviewed before, which were Mavis, Salty, and Emily. I don't think I'm going to review these two because A, Salty's front buffer is broken, and B, Mavis, uh, Mavis, I keep calling her that, uh, Emily just doesn't work anymore. As good of a condition as she is, she just doesn't work anymore. So, yeah. Um, Mavis, I'm not going to review this one because she has a couple of problems with herself, so I'm going to replace her eventually, but not right now. I think she's definitely going to be the next one to be replaced because so far the only engines who have been replaced or have had like replacement engines have been Gordon, James, and Percy. They're the only engines I've ever, not Percy, um, who is it, Gordon, uh, Thomas is what I meant to say, Thomas, Gordon, and James. Those are the only engines that I've ever had replacements for and the replacements are obviously sitting right in front of you. Um, the others are completely gone. Um, oh, here's actually one of, uh, there's a custom. Here's what one, happened to one of my Thomases, like one of my earlier Thomases, who's turned into a scrap engine um, for a special, which should be coming out next year. And um, yeah, I now have my sound Thomas to do the working.
and then James obviously is the black wheels, and Gordon, my first one, broke a long time ago. Um, but yeah, Mavis is definitely going to be the next replacement that I need to replace um, Gordon and Henry and Toby. Um, so just those four need to be replaced, and maybe Edward too. He's kind of... He's not as bad, but he could also use a replacement. Um, but yeah, this is my pretty much my whole collection. Started about nine years ago when I was six. And um, here we are, nine years later. Got all the trains, well, most of the time. Um, before you ask, before I go onto the shelf over here, I'm not going to get either the Rosies or Spencer or Paxton, so don't even bother asking because I find it pointless to buy engines that I'm not going to use for filming because I'm not going to use them anytime soon. I actually also have Hornby Thomas up here, and we got Stepney as well. So we have like all my engines up here, and also like some of my other ones. Uh, here, here, uh, there, we got 90. And uh, oh yeah, um, don't you see that yet? Um, that will be revealed, all will be revealed eventually for that. That's my custom. If you're following me on Twitter, you might know what I'm talking about. If you don't, working on a custom, there you go. And uh, But yeah, let's move on to the shelf over here. Got a bunch of rolling stock. Uh, we got Annie, Clarabel, Henrietta, two male cars, uh, row one, two, three, and five, because I don't like look of four. Uh, the green male car, the um, that one, and that one, the ventilated van, the milk tanker, one express coach, and the spiteful brake van. And uh, yeah, that's my rolling stock. I also need to replace Annie and Clarabel in the future, because you can see right here, both of Annie's front buffers are missing, and also, they're just so old and they jump off the tracks so often. But yeah, um, I guess that wraps it up. Obviously, there are going to be more reviews in the future, just not, they're not going to really be Thomas anymore, um, unless you want me to do reviews of the uh, replacements. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Keep calm, build on. Bye.